Hello everyone, Only Draven here again, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft Sky Factory 3. Uh, today we're going to be showing how to use an importer and exporter to move items into a refined storage system. Um, so uh, this tutorial is going to build off of several of my earlier tutorials. Um, most importantly, refined storage itself, um, how to use a solderer, and um, extreme reactors. So our power source today is going to be an extreme reactor that I already have built here. Again, there's a tutorial on my channel um, on how to do any of these earlier things. We're also going to be using a wireless network using flux plugs and flux ports. Uh, there's a separate tutorial for that. Um, and we're going to be using a refined storage system, which I've started up a basic refined storage here using our wireless set setup with a controller, a crafting grid, and then a disk drive for storage. Again, there's a tutorial for how to use refined storage on my channel as well. So for today's tutorial, how to use an importer and exporter, we are going to build basically three different types of components. The first one we're going to use is going to be cables. And we're going to need a bunch of those. And so cable is six pieces of enriched iron, quartz enriched iron, a piece of redstone, and a piece of glass. Next, we're going to take one of those cables, we're going to add it to a destruction core and an improved processor to make an importer. Now again, to make a destruction core and improved processor, you'll use a solderer, which is also part of the refined storage mod, and there's a tutorial on my channel for that as well. Then we're going to build our exporter, which is another piece of cable, this time a construction core and an improved processor. We're going to need one exporter, one importer, and a bunch of cable. So let's go over here to our little work area, and we will pick up those items. And then we'll just grab ourselves a stack of iron just to show how it works. So now as you see here, I've already set down just a regular chest. It's empty, and my storage is empty as well, my refined storage. So when you right-click on either of these items, it opens them up. So when attaching any item such as an importer, or exporter, or transfer nodes, anything to something that has an interface, you have to hold shift to be able to place the item that you're looking for. Okay? So, on our source storage, so this is the chest. These are the, this is the box that things are going to come out of and go into the refined storage. So the thing that's going to come out of, we're going to put an importer. And for the storage block that the items are going to go into, we are going to put an exporter. And again, I'm holding shift down to be able to place that. Now, this throws off a lot of people because a lot of people think export means to exit out of here. And import means to go in. It is actually the opposite. Importer imports items from this and exports them into here. So if you're having an issue where your items aren't moving, be sure to make sure that you have those placed in the right order that you're looking to go. So next we're going to attach a piece of cable to the top. And again, we're going to have to hit shift. Well, well let me phrase that there. I was going to hit shift, but unfortunately, I'm there's not enough room for me to be on top. So we're going to go up here and shift. come off the side or the top of these so it doesn't matter any any one will work you can go off the side you can go off the top we're just going to go up here to make it a little bit easier so and you're going to run and connect your cable from one item from your importer to your exporter and that completes that circuit so now our importer is going to take items from this chest and move them through our exporter into our refined storage. So to test that, we're going to go ahead, throw ourselves a stack of iron ingots. Now, as you can see, already that had just immediately started to drop. Now, as that number is getting lower and we go to our refined storage, we can see the iron ingots are showing up inside of our refined storage. It's a very, very simple process, but one that a lot of people um, just take a little bit of practice to get used to doing. And you can run multiple items into this. So I could put a second chest here with another importer, connect the cable up here, and both of those would feed into this exporter. 
So you can run multiple items into here. Now, that can slow the process down a little bit. So I do want to set that expectation. If you have a lot of things feeding from this all into the same exporter, they're all processing and transferring through this single node, it can slow it down. Now, transfer nodes themselves will not move items into a refined storage, but you can use transfer nodes and transfer pipes to move from other items, say a chest, into this chest, which will then allow it to feed through importer and exporter into your refined storage. But this is by far the easiest way to move items automatically or feed automatically into a refined storage with an importer and an exporter. Our chest is now empty and our full stack of iron ingots is now here inside of our refined storage. And that is all that's required for that. So again, this is a little bit later game stuff because at this point you've already got power sources and you've got refined storage basics set up, uh, but it definitely helps automate things such as um, chicken farming or um, just standard farming using cl uh, cloches, things of that nature. Definitely makes life a lot easier when you can feed your items directly into your storage. Not refined storage. So, uh, if you have any questions about this tutorial or any other tutorial that I have referenced in this video, please be sure to put it down in the comments. Uh, if you liked the video and you found it helpful, please be sure to click like. And most importantly, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. That way, you can see all of my tutorials and contents as they are released. If you have a suggestion for a tutorial that you'd like to see, again, please also put that down uh, in the comments section as well. Always looking for new suggestions. So, thank you very much for everyone tuning in today. I appreciate it, and I hope you all have a great day. Thank you.